The United States Institute of Peace has advocated a collaborative effort towards peace building in Nigeria and equipped community members in conflict states with mediation and dialogue skills. Dr. Chris Kwaja, Interim USIP Country Director Nigeria, made this known at the Network of Nigerian Facilitators Workshop themed Reflections and Prospects for the Future in Abuja. According to Kwaja, USIP works across the world both with government and non-governmental actors to ensure a peaceful world. Kwaja said that the first responsibility of every government in a diverse society as Nigeria was that the leadership must be committed to the management of diversity. Here in Nigeria, we are involved in peace-related advocacy. We support local-level actors who are involved in mediation and dialogue. We support governmental institutions that are committed to working uh, for peace. We are involved in the governance space uh, because where you have a government that is committed to a peaceful society, then people will be able to benefit from the dividends of democracy, which has to do with rule of law, participation of citizens, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, because these are some of the key drivers of disenchantment and discontent in our society. And uh, these are some of the issues that we advocate for, we support, and we pursue across the world. We work with research centers, we work with uh, civic groups, uh, at the community level where we build their capacities in the area of mediation and dialogue and uh, they've been quite active uh, in supporting our communities to identify commonalities around this whole notion of shared humanity. We have two cohorts of the Nigerian network of facilitators. We've trained them with peace building skills specific to mediation and dialogue they are able to facilitate dialogues, they are able to support communities, they are able to support groups across the country to come together to work collaboratively towards a peaceful society. Many of them, as you see in that hall, came from communities that have been in conflict. But today, as a result of the kind of work they've done across those communities, these communities are peaceful today. These communities now value the importance of living together as people that are harmonious, not just tolerating each other, but they are living in harmony. Dr. Joseph Uchugu, Director General of Institute of Peace and Conflict Resolution, said that the institution's goals was to use a non-kinetic, non-violent approach to resolve conflicts in Nigeria. I think that it is time for us to take a second look and begin to reverse the gear and re-engage a non-violent, non-combative approach on how we deal with our differences in the country. And we're going to be using more of getting an all-stakeholders um, engagement uh, collaborative approach. We're going to be using um, issues around mediation, negotiation, and how communities need to engage themselves together. I, I think that thus far there have been a lot of... Um, mystification of our violent conflict, particularly when you look at issues of farmer header, you look at the narrative in terms of the call, they tell you Fulani headers and uh, farmers and all that. But I can tell you outrightly, they are all criminalization, you know, criminal violence and violent conflicts. And these violent actors, you know, are all intertwined. So how do we begin to unpack, to identify the challenges that we face? You know, and until we do that, we might just be wasting so much money using um, the kinetic approach than using the the, the, the non-combative, non-kinetic approach. So I think that we, first and foremost, we need to provide an understanding through research. So our research is going to provide the pathway for this engagement, you know, with stakeholders. So we'll be engaging with both state and non-state actors, you know, both at the top and at the bottom, you know, for us to achieve what we need to achieve in quick time. We are actually preparing our documents to engage, you know, with the new approach. You can see that one thing you cannot take from the present new government is the fact that you can see the enormous collaboration that is going on in terms of stakeholders consultation that Mr. President Bola Metinubu is already doing, engaging with different stakeholders, including those from the opposition parties. And I think that that is the way to go. A participant and member of the network, Mr. Ruben Buhari, 
said collaboration between government organizations and individuals was needed to achieve lasting peace in any community. If we have this kind of training, you know, being replicated in most of these states, in most of these states, in fact, even places where you don't have this thing, I mean, as a means of nipping it in the boot, if you do that, honestly, I think it's going to go a long way in expanding the frontier of peace in this, in this country. Yeah.